the first step towards achieving your dreams is having the right coach. Get the best education with Krishna Sai AS Teaching Anthropology and make your anthropology optional for IAS, PCS and BPSC exams. Dreams come true. Download the app now. Today I am going to discuss an important question asked by UPSC in 2022 and this question from first paper and this is first question and that first question is debate between formalist and subtentivist approaches right and we have to write our answer in 150 words. So how can you write your answer in the right direction? So first thing is that in this question we have to write about debate between formalist and subtentivist. So how to write introduction? First important thing you have to give attention on introduction. Right? And in introduction you have to write about issues related to that debate what are the issues related to that that debate because before we are going to discuss about a formalist approach or substantivist approach we have to mention this debate on application of theory method perspective of formal economics or classical economics in both primitive as well as modern economic system so this debate core issue related to this debate was application of the theories perspective methods of formal or classical economics for the understanding of both primitive as well as modern economic system. So those who we are in the favor of application of the theories, perspective and method of formal economics, they known as a formalist anthropologist. And those who we are against about the application of theory, method and perspective of formal economics for the understanding of primitive economy, they known as a subtentivist anthropologist. So you have to define that thing, means first you have to write about introduction and introduction, in introduction you have to write about core issue related to this debate or issue related to this debate all right first thing that you have to write in introduction second important thing is that when you write about the core issue related to this debate so then you have to write about formalist, right? Why? They are known as a formalist anthropologist. So basically they are in the favor of application of theory, perspective, method of formal economics for the study of both primitive as well as modern economic system right so therefore they known as a formalist and then you have to write about subtentivist subtentivist so those who we are in the against of formal economics here that debate based on formal economics whether theory of formal economics 
perspective and their methods are useful for the study of primitive as well as modern society right so those who are in the favor of this they known as a formalist and those who were in the against they known as a substantivist right so then you have to give name of main proponder such as here Raymond Forth M.G. Horskovich Horskovich they are the two prominent names who were postulate that theory, perspective and methods of formal economics or classical economics is useful for the understanding of both modern economic system as well as primitive economic system. And here you have to write the name of Karl Poliani, Branislaw Melinowski, right? So when you have to write about the name of that founder, so if you have remembered about their work in which they postulate that theory, then you have to mention as for example, Raymond Forth in his famous work, Primitive Polynesian Economy. Nineteen twenty seven and second primitive economy of New Zealand Maoris. Right? If you have remembered, if you were familiar with that then try to mention because you were writing your answer for getting very high marks and if you want to get a very good marks in UPSC exam basically in anthropology so you have to mention about the name of that and then one work the economic Life of Primitive People that written by M. G. Herskovich. Right? Only mention that because if you want to get very good marks in anthropology, this is anthropological approach when you try to write answer about concept. And if you have knowledge regarding to the development of that concept, that theory, that approaches, so try to present their work. Second, in substantivist view, Karl Pulani wrote Trade and Market in early empire right in 1957 in which in which he proposed the concept of substantivist view but before the work of Karl Pulyani Milwaski already give insight about Substantivist approach in his famous work Argonauts of Western Pacific Western P 
specific 1922 right so you may make chart make flow chart for that and after that you have to write on approach what are the approaches of formal list anthropologist so basically formalist anthropologist believe that theory of demand and supply theory of scarcity of resources theory of maximization of profit role of market are useful for the study of both primitive as well as modern economic system so basically Raymond Firth and M. G. Horskovit propose that theory of formal economics useful for the understanding of both modern economic system as well as primitive economic system right and they give some important example in the favor of their approach right as for example formalist did a study of bride price bride price determination of bride price in tribal society on the basis of formalist view determination of bride price on the basis of formalist view but after that work an important famous American anthropologist soul tax he did a study in Guate Malan Indian society right he had done field work in that society and on the basis of that study he wrote a book name penny capitalism a Guatemalan Indian society in this work he said that Guatemalan economy is primitive economy but they use some theories some concept of formal economics in their economic system so he also in the favor of theory of formal economics is useful for the understanding of primitive economic system on the basis of their case study in Guatemalan Indian society right recently Anit Weiner Anit Weiner did a study in Trobiand Islanders especially on Kula system and she says that some theories related to formal economics is applied in Kula system of Trobiand Islanders and that the anthropologists utilize quantitative quantitative method and mathematical method mathematical method for the study of primitive society on the basis of formalist approach but Melesky already said that if we want to study about primitive society 
so we should study primitive society on the basis of cultural integration and holistic perspective because economic life of primitive people is deeply interlinked with their all dimension of life and their various dimension of cultural aspect like economy is deeply related with their social life their political life their religious life so melmaski already said that theory and perspective of formal economics is not useful for the understanding of primitive economy kal poliani in such way said that bride price is deeply related with culture of primitive people we can't interpret bride price on the basis of theory of demand and supply or theory of scarcity of resources or theory of maximization of profit right because bride price deeply related with their culture melnaski in the study of probian islanders described kula system according to substantivist approach so substantivist anthropologist or according to substantivist approach theory of demand and supply theory of scarcity of resources maximization of profit or all of market are very limited in primitive society because many primitive society even still today isolated from modern society basically hunter food gather society second important thing is that their economic life is integrated with their social life their cultural life their religion their political life third important thing is that their need is limited they have surplus resources and need is limited so their life is not influenced by the process of demand and supply the theory of demand and supply because in their economy their economy is based on community economy in primitive society an individual participated in economic system not for the fulfillment of the need of their own family or for the maximization of profit but that individual participated in economic system for the survivability of their community and for the survivability of their community life and therefore they are in the against of that approach right but lastly how to write Con conclusion so if you write a conclusion you have to write both the approaches are very rigid because in the course of globalization now primitive society is interacting with modern society in this respect the theory and perspective of modern economic system is now apply for the understanding of primitive economic system but here the concept of cultural integration the concept of holistic approach is also apply for the understanding of primitive economic system because they said that primitive economic can be understood through qualitative data right we required qualitative data or that will participant observation right so both have some kind of truth 
and therefore both the approach is useful for the study of primitive as well as modern society in particular circumstances and therefore both approaches give us very good dimension for the understanding of economic anthropology right thank you